All right, g'day everybody out there, Saltwater Music Festival. We're, um, who are we? We're Refractory Road. We're from Norm, a wheat belt town here in WA. So hello to all the people tuning in. Um, let us know if you can hear us and it's all working out there. Let us know in the comments. We'll be over here commenting back here as well. Um, let us know if you can hear us. Tonchi, g'day, and thank you so much for welcoming us to the festival. Um, great initiative that you've done to put this online this year so that people can still enjoy the wonderful um, music that comes out of the Yaru land and, uh, of course, around the rest of Australia and the world as well with some international artists. We're going to start with a uh, bit of a Bo Diddley beat. I think, Grandpa, you picked this one off. Yeah!
everybody out there, make sure you jump on the comments. Thanks for having us here. Thanks a big, huge thank you to Tonchi Tosh and uh, organising the music festival. Obviously, um, we're visiting your lounge rooms. Uh, it's about, what's it, 9 o'clock to 10 past 9. Uh, you can still have some beers if you want. Sunday night, you'll be right. We're visiting your lounge rooms from Northern, out here in WA. Um, we've got no salt water out in our river. We've got plenty of shopping trolleys, though, so uh, we've got that over you, like, maybe in Broome, or maybe not, actually. I reckon it's pretty brackish. Pretty brackish, <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, plenty of, um, uh, we're looking for a bit of rain, maybe in a few days' time for farmers out this way, so we're looking for rain. Um, tell us in the comments where you're tuning in from, that'd be appreciated. Tell us where you're coming, tuning in from, whether it's uh, Broome or down here. Around, around about Perth or interstate or overseas as well um, and we'll be answering comments just over here as well um, so we play rock I think that's what we call ourselves um, we like it so if you like it enjoy it share it tell everybody comfy on your couch put a drink in your hand put on your favourite Aussie music t-shirt or something like that take a photo of yourself and let's see you there um, that'd be good to see History lesson number one is going to come from Glenn. Uh, this song is called Bonnie Bale Flyer. I don't know what we're going to go. I didn't tell a story again. I didn't tell a story again. Hang on a second. That's it. <laughs> so I think every pick that's about my age has to do, an, or had to do an assignment years ago. It was called a project in those days because assignments didn't exist. And I had to do a project on the, uh, the rescue of an Italian miner from a flooded mine north of Coolgardie at a place called Bonnyvale. And this is the story of the, the rescue of uh, an Italian miner there. They couldn't say his name, so they called him Charlie.
comes a Charlie with a chin, he was pulled from the ground. In the papers where they talk to the rescue and hero, well, he used to move out of town. That's awesome to see on a Sunday night. Some broom names I know as well. Um, a few people in the state, I don't know who you are, but welcome. And that international person, so that's cool. Appreciate that. Thanks for, uh, for tuning in. Um, uh, make sure you let us know in the comments as well that you are here for all those other people. Um, we're feeling very, very grateful to be able to, to play a gig in uh, the circumstances, I suppose, of the world. Um, being able to do this thing on Facebook Live, so it's, it's excellent as a lot of artists around the world doing the same sort of thing, so that's cool to be able to do something similar to that. Uh, so Tonchi's had this festival going for the last three weekends, so this is the third Sunday that he's had it on. He's had it Friday nights, Sunday nights, and Sundays for the last three weekends. So that's fantastic, mate. Um, um, if, you, if you live with anyone, I'm sure they're probably a bit uh, annoyed that you're just sitting on your phone all weekend, but uh, <laughs> that's all right, good on you for doing that. Um, if you're tuning in and you like what's um, happened so far, you can share it on the share button or like it or do something, tell others, you can tag people in it, tell them to start watching as well. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is you can watch it afterwards as well because we, we save it to the, to the Facebook and whatnot. Tell your mates that we're here. Um, we're not slowing down now, we're probably picking up the pace of anything. Um, make sure you let us know how it sounds out there and uh, yeah, check out our our social media stuff and see how you're going. Alright, I gotta tune my guitar. What's the next one we're playing, Glenn? Not on demand. Oh, right. Which we call not, uh, no, not on demand. Maybe, maybe we're going to be cheeky, but go ahead. On the woman. Oh, not on the yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> so this one here is. Um... No, I'm just giving Jay a lesson over the back. Jay over my right shoulder here. He's always asking, which song is next? It's right in front of him. Nah, that's right. Might as well. Keeps the big fat beat for us. Uh, this song is about uh, returned soldiers in the last 30, 40 years. Return of Aussie soldiers. It's not on demand. It's, um, it's about, unfortunately, we can't see life as it is anymore. We've got, um, we've got media in our ears and in our eyes and we're able to, we wish things weren't on demand where you could just, you know, pick it up and see it in front of you all the time. So this is about return soldiers and what they deal with. Let me just check. Remember we got this wrong last time we should try this? That last yeah, that's time. right. Let's, let's kill it again. That was me. Yeah. Let's kill it again. Alright, okay. I think I got it. It's Jay's turn to reckon. Sorry guys. That's the start. Yeah. You go one, two, three, four. Yeah, cool. And then we come in. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Oh 
Thanks for sticking with us, everyone. It's good to see you all there. Checking the comments on the side. We're answering there for you as well. Big hello to all my broom mates. I spent a few years up there. All my uh, St. Mary's family and people from St. Mary's. Um, good to see you all. Well, good to see comments and that you're watching as well. So hello. Um, all the WKFL people I've played with and against in the past. All the way from Bidjidanga through Broom. And then uh, Derby and Luma as well. A big hello to my Cable Beach Football Club friends. Uh, so I was a teacher up there for about four years, and um, a lot of the kids I uh, taught year four and year six back in 2009 to 2012. Taught my like, Tonchi's boys as well. Um, so great memories of the, the the culture and the setting and the scenery and the people from the from the West Kimberley area, um, just all over as well. And it's it's fantastic to see Tonchi reaching out and getting not just. Um, Kimberley people to play in this festival and getting people from all over to play. While well, you're talking about Tonchi, yeah, Owen Caddo okay. Caddo says hello to Tonchi, so that's for you. Uh, for those of you, I think it was a comment just there, uh, for those of you who wanted us to play covers, uh, no, we don't. Uh, we, this is all our own stuff. Myself and Glenn write the song, so sorry about that. But you can still follow us as well, like and share it and all that's really good. And then all the other musicians fix what we write. <laughs> 
that's exactly right. Um, let me just get the right tone for this before I start the stop. He likes this riff. This is one of his favourite riffs, I think. He loves this riff, okay? Premature auricular. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so when I was little, 15 years old, my brother and I we went over to Queensland to visit our grandparents, mum's side of the family. They all lived over right in Queensland, all the family lived there. She escaped the Queensland trap. Anyway, I went over when I was 15, and um, that's me. Went over when I was 15, and my brother was with us, and he's a bit older than me, so we're over there, and he's teasing me, he's bullying me, he's punching me, he's beating me up, and I went and asked Grandma, I said, Grandma, I said, Grandma, yeah, Reese is doing this, this, this. She said, oh, I'll go talk to your granddad. I said, oh, I'll talk granddad. Granddad, oh, Reese is doing this, this, this. He said, oh, I don't care, ring your mum or something. So that night we got home from wherever we were, out the lake doing jet skiing or something with our cousins or whatever they were, uncles or something. I never see them enough to know which one they are. <laughs> and anyway, I get back home to the house in Eaton in Queensland and granddad says, yeah, go ring the phone, use the phone, use the phone, ring up mum. Mum, 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 brother, Reese is annoying me, beating me up, carrying on all this, all sort of thing. And she goes, no, nah, I don't care, but, but don't care, just, you know, whatever. So she hangs up the phone anyway. On the airplane trip home, eventually, the next day, he still beat me up, calling me names and bullying me. I just had a terrible holiday. It was two weeks holiday in uh, in April holidays and I just hated it. Anyway, got home and thought, you know what, I'll go talk to Dad. Eventually, find him sitting on the couch on his chair, got home from work, I said, uh, Dad, oh, Reese, this, 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 and Dad says, Why don't you leave alone?
friends just say, Amen. Checking out the comments under the back here, we're replying to you as well. Um, tell your friends if they're missing out, they can just watch it later on, you know, right here on Facebook as well. Um, hope you're all dealing well with the the way of the world at the moment. What was it, three weeks ago, we were late enough to be able to come back together and have a rehearsal. It's like we're little kids again, it was really, it was a lot of fun. Was that footy training? Yeah, footy training, yeah. And you could see footy training, there you go. After footy training, you hold one of those in your hand. Um, <laughs> Uh, we're especially, especially taking note of the people in the Kimberley who are stuck in the Kimberley uh, or, or can't get in or whatever the situation is still with the border at the moment. Um, hopefully the way of WA at least and the rest of the states can um, can get past this as quick as possible. And um, we're thinking of all those who have been negatively affected as well. For those interested, you can find our music on all the thingy platforms. All the sharing apps. Yeah. yeah. But with, how many songs have we done before? Spotify? Spotify, yeah, Spotify and Apple and... Apple Music? Dwe- Deezer? Dweezer? Tweezer? I don't know. <laughs> Nigel Bird told me that one once. I thought, I thought he was lying. It's on TikTok. No, I don't know if we're on TikTok. Um, we've Rider. done... How many songs have we recorded? We did an album. We did an album. Then we got one for uh, Songs of the Week, Bill. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, well, that one's coming up next. We're going to play that one next. Oh, That's good single. That's our hit single. We're going to play you a hit single. Uh, so this, it's also going to be the first, or one of the, it's the first one done for our new album, which will probably come out maybe springtime. Are we doing an album? Well, yeah. Where, where are we going in July? Europe. Hang on. Scandinavia and the subcontinent. <laughs> maybe, I don't know if everyone's told their, their missus as whether we're actually doing some recording at some stage. In the future, but yeah, maybe in springtime you'll hear some new music from Refractory Well. And Squirt. This one's called Jericho. It's kind of got a uh, life in the fast lane fit. No, this was clean, but it hasn't got a life in the fast lane feel.
one on the album as well. This next song, for those of you, especially Broom people tuning in, um, this one is in reference to um, Brett Claudius. Um, he was a bit of an enigma uh, anywhere he went really, but for a long time among the uh, West Kimberley community. Um, this song is actually for the people who knew Brett, uh, not necessarily for him, it is about him, but it's, this is for for us who were uh, involved in his life. So it's not entirely about the man, it's about us people who knew him and all of us who loved the man. Um, I remember first hearing the news of Brett, so Brett took his life. I remember first hearing the news, I was standing right there with band practice and my mate Yoshi Hunter gave me a call, so I went outside and took the call and heard the news. And, I remember that feeling coming back in here to you guys and it was, oh, Kim was like, well, let's stop practice and let's just sit and talk. Um, so we sat and talked and then we were like, oh, the best way to enjoy the moment of the man and the time, the life of times of the man was like, I wanted to play some music so we, we enjoyed the rest of the evening playing some tunes. <laughs> um, when I heard about it, and I'm sure many of you involved or knowing of Brett, when we heard about this sadness, but in my mind, more of it was frustration that he did it. Uh, frustration that he could do that. I miss the circumstances of the life that the man lived, obviously not the last year of his life, but the life that the man did live. A man for others. Um, but this is for us, the people who know the man and love the man. It's, it's about the anger of what happened, the frustration of what happened, but then turns to us. You'll hear the, the change of... <clears throat> The, uh, the note we end up playing in is a major as we finish the song. It's like a lifting, an uplifting of the light, holding that light aloft, our light and our hope. 
Um, so, all the WKFL people who are intricately connected to Brett's, Brett Cordes' life, to my dear, dear Cable Bridge Football Club family, love you all, and I know this just gutted us completely. To the people at Gandawa as well, who worked tireless with them, to all the development teams that he worked with, cricket and footy and all those sorts of things, just working so tirelessly with, with youth. Uh, the Perth Football Club that he was heavily involved in as a junior as well. All his cricket mates, he took up cricket later towards the end there. And particularly his family. This song, this song is us. And there's a reference, there's a word in it, you know, the title is Reject the Trigger. And the trigger is about the trigger in your mind when it does. All right.
Britain's app, or you press the button over there. So it's now we're all here. But I'm picking it up straight away. Oh! Alright, if, um, if you finish your drink, quickly race to the fridge, get another one. We've got a few songs to go. Um, keep the comments coming, we can see those popping up, so that's fantastic. Thank you to all the people tuned in, wherever, uh, everywhere where you are. Um, make sure you, if you like what we're doing, check and follow us on our social media as well, on Instagram and Facebook as well. If you think someone else should be watching this or listening to this, tag them below. And uh, get them, or either you can stream this to your own timeline as well if you want, so check that out. Here's a cool song, this one. What's the broom equivalent of uh, Moor River? Where do they nick off on the weekend? Um, well, not, probably not Perth equivalent, the Northern have, equivalent. Don't have to, they're in broom. They're in broom, they don't have to piss off on the weekend. They're already in a beautiful place. Crab, Crab Creek's pretty good, or yeah. Don't have to go too far to catch the mustard. Yeah, all right. This is about nicking off from Northern and heading up to Moor River, which is... Uh, out and, a, out and a bit away and uh, a bit of fun. It was written one weekend, just wishing I could be back there. Thank you. 
Big shout out to all the other um, big artists that were on the festival, the, uh, all the pit groups as well. Uh, Naomi and Bart's pretty much running this thing with Todd. She did all these cultural things, so that's fantastic. Bart and obviously Steve, pit groups jumped on as well. Um, our mates from the Bradley Hall band, we saw them at, um, what is that little cafe we play? Yeah, something like that, something like that, Bradley Hall band, him and Noel, uh, mates of ours. Uh, Tanya Ransom, she's played as well, check out... Um, Holmes & Co. Holmes & Co, that's Holmes & Co. They put us in the bloody backyard of the Holmes & Co. Uh, check out Tanya Ransom's song, Armour, that is a cracker, fantastic song, Armour, check that out. Uh, our mate Tom Fisher, check out his new EP, Tom Fisher and the Layabouts. Drink it, Tom's favourite. Drinking your red Tom, so there you go. Uh, check out that, that, that EP is fantastic. It's all like uh, what Glenn said, all killer there is. Oh, what is all it? killer, no filler. No filler. That is a really good EP. We watched the Tour of Fall. The Tour of Fall the other night, last weekend, last Saturday. Uh, Don Mariani, what, a, what an absolute WA royalty legend he is. Him and Bob on the keys. Uh, Tonchi, of course, and all these Mexicans. Tonchi and the Mexicans. Owen Campbell, that was a cool set there. I don't think he knew where he was, but he played and it was fantastic. Uh, John Albert from Scrap Metal, he was awesome too, and amongst many others. We're going to play um, a song we call Johnny. And it's not called Johnny. It's called Burn So Bright. Written for a young fella that we lost up here. But as morbid as that sounds, it's a bit more upbeat, it's more about a celebration of what he was about. Bye. 
Hopefully we can squeeze them in whenever you're ready, drums up. Oh, you probably forgot how this thing starts. <laughs> tuning in. Make sure you tell everyone who we are, or don't worry, and just enjoy what you just saw. Uh, you can see all that music, the 13 songs we have released, maybe, I think it's 13, on Spotify and all the other streaming platforms. If you like us, tell everyone. If you don't, tell no one. Don't tell the person. <laughs> Alright, um, once again, saw what the music festival. It's been great fun, we are. I've been hanging out for a gig, obviously. Alright. <laughs> Come on in, we 